Hello friends, welcome to the .NET office. Today we are going to learn the topic what is raw context and filter context in Power BI DAX. In the previous tutorial we have seen about the introduction of the Power BI DAX and apart from this we have seen like what is the calculated column and the measure column. So before um, proceeding with this tutorial I recommend you please watch part 3 of this tutorial so you will understand better about this tutorial. So in this tutorial the agenda of this tutorial is like what is the context in Power BI and what is filter context in Power BI. So let's understand what is all this. So basically the row context in DAX is like row context is when you calculation is evaluate for each detailed row from a input table. So basically what is the meaning of that like in the calculated column when we put any like uh, um, calculation then it calculate basis on the every row so raw contact is similar to that only like when we put any calculation the raw context is a kind of a uh, like a methodology means when we put any calculated column so calculated column what it do it do the calculation over every row or each row so uh, like it calculate uh, over the particular uh, filter so that is the row context and the filter context is like in filter context is when your calculation is evaluated for a specific value in a visual a visual can be grouped filtered by other visual or report filter and what is the meaning of that like in the power bi when we take any filter like uh, uh, a filter in the sense when we take more than visualization and in over the visualization when we click on particular criteria then according to that particular criteria what happen all the visualization uh, change uh, basically it filter all the visualization so that is the filter context so let's understand like what is the row context and the filter context so this is the power bi desktop application and we have imported the data from the excel and all these field it contain all this and the data we can see and when you will click on this data tab here you can see all the data so currently like we are having this many columns now suppose I want to create a, a row context like what is the row context we will understand is practically so what you can do here when you will click on the right click here also you can click a new column so once I click on this new column what we see like here at the like right side we can see there is a a column created because by default the column name it is a column so that's why it is showing with that name now we will put some logic here so what it will do it will do that calculation for the every row like each row it will do that particular calculation so that is the row context so what I will do here I will give this row name as a row context and now what you can do you can put any calculation here so what I am going to do I am going to uh, do like profit so financial profit I'm going to divide by like if I will click and uh, divide by 2 so that is my calculation and, and when I will hit enter what it will do it will do a calculation and we can see like row can uh, context means this new column is uh, like calculation is doing for every row and where is the profit is basically like uh, when I will scroll this one uh let's see okay so this is the profit so when we divided by two so this is the calculation is happening and for the every row it is doing the calculation so that is the row context and now next topic is like what is the filter context so filter context as i explained like um, filter context is when your calculation is evaluated for a specific value in a visual and like um, this value is basically is filtered as a grouped by or filter by other visual and let's understand it practically so what I will do here I will take a like here I will take a one slicer okay and in this slicer what I will do I will take the month names so once I will take the month name based on that it will change it and let's increase the size of this one so we can change the size from the like here let's uh, increase the uh, weight of this one and like uh, if you want to change the uh, size of this we can change from the here 
like from here we can change the borders if visualization header uh, you want to increase the size we can increase the size and there are so many things we can see here so from here like if we want to increase the header size or the this uh, item size we can increase from here like uh, header size you can increase from here and the, if you want to change the item size you can increase if you want to change the font color or the background color you can change from here so let's uh, click on this so it will change that color and if you want to increase the size you can increase that size from here so this is the one visualization we are having that is the slicer now based on that like i will take a, another uh, like visualization and in this visualization what i will do i will uh, put some value to this one uh, like uh, let's take based on the month name and i'm taking according to the like profit so this is the another visualization and apart from this like if we want to take a, another visualization we can take let's take this donor chart and in this donor chart let's take the whatever the field we, which we are having like let's, let's take the product here and based on that product let's take the profit here also so based on that it will create the visualization for us and the meaning of the filter context is like when i click on a, any visualization like like i want to get the profit based on the like april month so what will be the profit according to the april month so if i will click on this so we, we can see like these filter is basically changing like this is reflecting or these are going to be filtered and if i will select this and based on that like it is changing like uh, we can see here like uh, august according to august it is changing all the filters or the visualization we are having so that is called basically like uh, filter context like if i will click again on this so it will be back and now suppose i want to, to sh uh, show the data based on the like product wise so if i will click on this based on that it will change that other filters as well so this is the filter context and the meaning of like filter context is when your calculation is evaluated for a specific value in a visual so a specific value in the visual like whatever the visual is there for the specific value it is changing the visualization or filtering the visualization so that is the filter context so that is the concept of the row context and the filter context like in the row context basically when we create any uh, calculated column it evaluate the value for each row whatever the row we are having it calculate over the each row and it is a similar to a calculated column and when as we know in the according to the previous tutorial when we create any uh, calculated column it create that calculate um, column here and like uh, it store into the memory and that is the only difference between the measure column and the calculator column which we have seen in the previous tutorial if you want to know the concept of the measure column and the calculator column you, i prefer like please watch that uh, tutorial you will understand better about this one so according to this uh, tutorial that's it like what is the row context and the filter context in dax so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you